Here's a question about, can you please tell us about the blessings of paying the tithe? This is one of many commandments. For some people, it's one of the hardest of all the commandments. Tithing is not about money. Tithing is about fe in Christo. Fe is a principle of action and of power. When we have faith in Christ, then we act in accordance with his teaching. Then we are blessed with his power. We don't get the power so we can act. We act, and then we receive God's power through the Holy Ghost. I've had the opportunity to be with the presidents of the church and listen to their teachings in many different lands. I have listened to the presidents of the church tell large congregations of people who are poor that God will open the windows of heaven and bless them in every needful way if they will keep the commandments, and in particular, the law of tithing. Do you remember that the Sabbath day is the Lord's day? Now, where do you and I gain the strength and the capacity to work and to earn from God? That's not us. It's the capacity and the blessings we receive from him. Where do we get the very air that we breathe from God? Everything is his. Under the direction of the Father, Christ created the earth. We do not now, and we never will, own anything. Now, maybe we've bought a house. It's not going with you when you die. You may have very nice clothing. It's over when you're dead. The capacity to earn and have a home. The capacity to work hard and buy food and have clothing. All of these things are gifts from God. And he asks for one-tenth. He says, you can have 90%, but 10% needs to be returned to build temples, to build buildings like this, to make it possible for missionary work to go all over the world. It's his. It belongs to him. And he lets us keep 90%, and he requests that we give back 10%. Can you see that this is about fay, not about money? It's about understanding the plan of happiness. And when we give him back what is his, he blesses us in remarkable ways. So, pay your tithing. The Lord does not need your money, but you need the blessings that will come as you pay your tithing. Sometimes members think, I paid this much tithing, I want a miracle. I want somebody to come to my house with a bag and have that much money in a bag. Sometimes maybe that will happen, but sometimes that won't happen. Sometimes the blessing we might miss. I've talked to people who have looked for jobs, and they say, I prayed, but I didn't get a job. They expected God to just deliver the job. After you pray, go search, go work. You will be blessed to work better, to search longer, so you can find a job. But God will not just bring the job to your house. You have to act. So, the blessings of tithing. I just want to summarize it this way. My wife and I have seen these blessings in all of the different forms they come, all of our lives. I pray you will have the faith, the simple faith, to keep the commandments and do what you know you should do so that God can bless you in the ways you need to be blessed. Okay, let's take another question from here.